Hello, everybody. Welcome here to ReaperCon, and to, with us we have Nightheart Gaming, Ann and Frank. It's their show time. Start asking questions. <laughs> awesome, Ann. Thank you. Um, Ann, do you want to start? You want to start? Sure. <laughs> You can do it. What is it Ron always says that where no one's paid professionals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. no one is definitely totally a paid true. professional. Well, welcome. Is this your first show? No, no, this is our fourth show. Okay. Um, we actually were at, we found out, hey, Fairy Bard, we found, she's one of our oh, artists. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we uh, found out about, well, I found out about miniature painting at PAX. Really? Yes. Which PAX? Prime oh, or, or what? Uh, East? South. South. Oh, down here. Okay, good. Yeah. We and I did your paint and take, mm -hmm. and I, I had Frank had been painting for yeah. thirty years or something like Poorly. that. For all thirty of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I looked at his miniatures, and I'm like, I could never do that. Uh -huh. Like, I'm like, what is that? And then I took, did the um, paint and take, mm -hmm. and the dry brushing, mm -hmm. just rocked my world. There we go. That's, <laughs> that's, it's all about little techniques. A lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so then that year, I'm like, we're going. We're going to uh, ReaperCon, so we've been going since then. I've been painting since then, okay. but not seriously until uh, the stream started. And now the stream has the, the Tinker Tuesday. It has Tinker Tuesday. Which is a whole other step you've taken into that. Yeah. Yes, which is uh, from a tabletop uh, perspective. Not right. as in, I'm entering them into contests, but as right. in, what can we put on the table now? And it's terrain and miniatures. And that's part of the Nightheart Gaming channel. Yes, it is, which ties into the Maximum Maidens. Yes. That's, they're using the terrain in the miniatures you're doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Doc of Flock of Flame. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, actually, some of the terrain that's been built, um, it has been a huge deal on Maximum Maidens. Entire uh, one, I don't know, it was a pretty long arc of uh, four, four or five games where it was barns and fields. Mm -hmm. and, so you had built all kinds of crazy fields and painted minis and stuff. Mm -hmm. Things I had never done before. Mm -hmm. And so I actually, um, I had to get into all the YouTube tutorials. <laughs> get your YouTube certification patch. I yes, did, yes. Yes, yeah. 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 yes. and um, was looking all over the place and I have buckets of terrain things now. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. And you find you start, as you go with your buckets, you can start repurposing stuff, sort of speeds up the process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, oh, yeah, we've all been there, done that, yeah. Right, right. Um, so we have, Frank, did you want to talk about our streams? Yeah, let's, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit at least. Yeah. Um, hi, Afro Queen, another player in Maximum Maidens. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm enamored with the huge chat line. It's, it's awesome. gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things for me. Right. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have uh, like four different streams. We have two that really focus on terrain and miniatures. Mm -hmm. like we're trying to make it cinematic, we're trying to get cameras in close, we're trying to, but we're trying to play D&D at the same time. It's not staged or pre-written or anything like that. So it's still a real D&D game mm -hmm. with camera operators to get in and close and see it. And so terrain is a, a huge deal there, terrain and miniatures. Because you, there's nothing like having a camera at a macro level, seeing something and going, oh, I shouldn't have just put that pre-paint <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. But we, we have those streams, and then we have Tinker Tuesday, which we mentioned, which was it's a weekly crafting stream that focus, that's really just what we need in those games. And then we, we also want to stream for players that can't get together around the table. It's kind of unfair to make that assumption that everybody can get True, together. Yes. So we do sort of at least um, we have... It might actually be our most prolific stream, to be honest. We have the online game, which is every Thursday, uh, except that we're here right now, so not these Thursdays. Um, every Thursday, and it's using VTTs to play rather than around the table. And that one's called, that one's the? Second Chances. Second Chances. And actually, yeah. Tom, our DM for that, he is uh, going to be here tonight at Call of Cthulhu. Tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Saturday he's night, running he's running the... Call of Cthulhu oh, from 8. I think they changed it to 6 on the schedule. Six oh, o'clock. okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, so and, and we met Tom actually at uh, the first ReaperCon we went to. Really? Yeah, okay. we sat in on one of his games and uh, we were both like, we like each sleep. other. <laughs> yeah. Like, we like you. <laughs> so he started DMing that. And the reason that is called Second Chances is because we die all the time. Right, well. 
fist. Yeah. He plays a very old school style of. <laughs> now, y'all are located out or based out of? Houston, Texas. Houston, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's right. is he there as well? No, Tom is up here in Dallas. Oh, is or he? In the Dallas yeah. area. Okay, yeah. okay. That's another point to playing online. Right? Yeah. So you're stretching the boundaries there, which yes. is that's the fun part of it. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, if you don't mind, we got we got uh -huh. we got questions. Oh like, yeah, no, no, whatever questions y'all got. Yeah. Like, uh, first, I want to say we really have always enjoyed. One of the things that immediately struck us about Reaper and Reaper Con is how like open and uh, sincere you are with everybody who's here. Like everybody. Mm -hmm. So. We, we, absolutely love that and while we could probably look up stuff like the origins and things we don't really know so how long is how, how long have you been if, since the inception have you been with reaper or? yes yes uh the tldr is i'm a cpa my brother's cpa we had a, a family practice work for dad that was and that was obviously boring so we're going to go run off and do something fun but it's mm -hmm. reaper's now 27 years old uh it was started in a half car garage in fort worth and then moved to the uh some series of warehouses to where we are now. And then I've just spent really my whole youth painting uh, my toys when I got them, you know, toy soldiers or whatever, all the way, just <laughs> kept going and going from there. So it just sort of kept growing. And I think part of what, you're, what you feel here is, is pretty much everybody here at Reaper, everything, it's not a job, it's, it's a passion, you know? It's, uh, it's just something we all do and we get up every morning and can't wait to get down there to do it, most of us. There's a few it's, that, you know. It's a family yeah. too. But it's a family more than, you yeah. You can feel that. And yeah. the, the way that you guys give to your community is amazing. And it is, it's just part, but it's there, that's what it's there to do. You mm -hmm. know, to be able to just, let's get it, let's do it and get it out there, you know, so. It's all, I mean, I, I remember, I don't, I, I can't, Unfortunately, I can't even say what my first Reaper Mini was because I was, uh, uh, you know, I, I started very early. I've been playing for I don't know, 35 or 40 years, so 35 for sure. And uh, when I started looking for minis, I would just grab them. And I know at some point, it, I was I was like, oh, these are a lot of Reaper Minis. And I was living in California at the mm -hmm. time, too, so yeah. I don't know how long it took to... Well, you had at the time when we jumped in, you had Grenadier, you had Ralph Hartha, mm -hmm. uh, you had Heartbreaker. Um, so many you couldn't even, I can't even remember all of them. I can see Simtac. I mean, there was just, there was a lot. There was, there was actually another company called Grim Reaper Castings. And actually, we seemed to sort of form at the same time. And we went with Reaper, and they went with Grim Reaper. And then all of a sudden, we bumped into each other in Origins going, well, this is interesting, you know. <laughs> and uh, so I would get checks made out to them paying bills. And I'm sure they got checks made out to us to paying their bills or something, you know. So, But uh, yeah, it just, that would have been when you were starting out. We were starting out and mm -hmm. going from there. When did the paints come into it? Paints came in much later. We did a paint line. Uh, I don't know, Pro Paints was the first paint line. And there was sort of a, a, a something we wanted to identify with, a, a gap in the market, whatever at the time. Anyway, we jumped in on that. And it was OK. They weren't really great paints, but they were what we could do at the time. And then uh, they faded out, and then we introduced Master Series paints. Now, with that, it's where we brought in Forrester on board. And so we did it right. We brought, she's a very much a chemist in that idea and understands the fundamentals of what to do. So we brought her on board and that really became her whole, her whole project and things. And since she is a painter, and that was a lot of what you have to do is, is that, that, that style of paint, everything, everything she does revolves around that. So in turn, everything that goes into the paint line revolves around that. So they just sort of got added from there. Okay. We love your paints. Yeah. I have a whole wall of them. We have oh, all of them. Oh, I should have given Justin a picture of the wall, <laughs> wall of, of paints. All, wall of paint, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them. I was, I was weird. I'm, when I work at the paint department, this is just me, I guess, but I've talked to other people have the same thing. Some of the colors are such, they make you think like, well, I could drink that. That looks like that would taste <laughs> X, right? Taste yeah, good. Yeah. You don't, obviously, but yeah. yeah. But there's yeah. a lot of brush licking people around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but we, so, um, yeah, when we, so we mix it, we mix and match everything. We, everything we can get to do a scene or terrain, we build it, uh, and we, we, everybody who makes something, I think we have, I, I can't count the number of like people who've made terrain or miniatures we end up using mm -hmm. in it over, mm -hmm. over all the things. And well, you've got to hear our, that, yeah. We have our, our players are painting their own miniatures as well. Oh, good. We have um, things we don't put online where they come over and do paint nights and yeah. get their, their characters up and ready to go. We, we um, I think, uh, I don't know, Justin, do you have a, like a picture of the, the Mystic Circle that we can show? Like mm -hmm. Anne painted, uh, Anne painted 
And then I took the pictures, but Ann painted this mystic circle yeah. for one yes. of the games. Oh, that's amazing. And it's, oh, that's, I love that. That's your, yeah, well, I yeah. loved the miniature. <laughs> and then the lighting. You were doing the lighting, obviously. Well, Frank so, is a photographer. Uh, hey, that's, I guess he started off, he's a musician. <laughs> He's a photographer. Uh -huh. Now he's the producer of our stream, right? But um, so he does really amazing jobs of doing the scenic looks when we do yeah. these still shots. Yeah. So we we I yeah I enjoy everything. I sort of fell into that producer tech role uh -huh. when we right. started this, right? Because of that. But I've, I've been a DM for longer than I've been any of those things. Mm -hmm. So I've played D and D a very long. And that's been my game of choice for all the miniatures. Although, to be honest, I didn't start using miniatures until about, uh, like about when you guys came around. It was uh -huh. about 27, 25, 27 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, when I started actually using miniatures. So that one I did the, I used the Reaper paints mm -hmm. and then also used a lot of um, like tufts and um, oh, yeah. you know, all of the scenic building stuff. And yeah. then put uh, like mold type looks on the, mm -hmm. Bricks? Not bricks, but stones. Effects. A yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anne has progressed continually, and a lot of that, like she said, was because originally she looked at stuff I was painting. She doesn't even compare now. Right, Anne yeah. has far surpassed some of the things I can paint. And uh, so she she's learned that in the classes here, and so we really enjoy those. Like oh, all, good. All the classes. That is sort of a cornerstone to what happens here. Is I guess makes us unique as a show is, is that it's really driven around the class schedule. And, uh, and then the, the MSP Open Contest and things like that. We have gaming here. They're running D&D. Uh, &D. They're running Pathfinder. Oh, yeah. Several tabletop games. Cav. I saw that mm -hmm. out there. Seen some other. There was a nice colonial game out there. I saw set up. How many like numbered you're... tables do you have? Like it was 20 or 20 oh, something. I don't know. Uh, there was it was a high number. Yeah. It's like wow, look at all the games playing. Yeah, that'll run all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a lot. There's a lot there. There are, there are whole conventions around gaming specifically that don't have that many tables. So oh, that's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's, um, and you have 18 or 12 classrooms? Yes, about 12, 12 classrooms. Yeah. A massive, and you have so many vendors this year, too. We always were That's like, growing. And the, it yes, is. And the, and the vendors. In fact, there was one, there was a corner. I'd mentioned to when they were setting up, I'd point out to Adrian, I said, next year you can scoot here and do this, and there's a, there's a space there that you can put another vendor in, because there's a list we didn't get to. Mm -hmm. And this morning I come in and somebody's there set up, so apparently it's <laughs> worked out real well. You made it. Yeah. So, speaking of classes, Anne, I'm uh, using yeah. that to segue into what you've taken this sure. year. Sure. So, um, if Justin, you can get that close shot. Yeah. So, this guy, this is my first class that I took with Michael Proctor. And he, I worked on this shoulder piece, and this is a um, shaded metallics class. Incredible. I learned so much. And um, I worked on that shoulder and this. And I'm excited, because I've actually been waiting to paint my uh, hero tidbit, because all of her clothes are metal, mm -hmm. metallic. Oh, she doesn't well, have, she has, he was the one to do it with, especially yeah. with that model. Holding off. I've been holding off for a month. <laughs> <laughs> to take the class first. To, take her, to do it before that, yeah. Yeah. And so um, that one was uh, yesterday, and then I also took uh, blending techniques, mm -hmm. which is that red cloak that, that is there. Oh, yeah. I learned the two brush the two brush technique, which I had never, I didn't know you about keep that. The brushes wet. You have yeah. two brushes, one is wet and the other one has paint, mm -hmm. and you paint and then you kind of right, pull it down, yeah. pull it down and, and then um, it ends up blending really well. So I like that because that's quick. The deal is, is I need really quick techniques. Right, yeah. She's one of our only, it's the majority of our painting, right? So it's mm -hmm. all two, two <laughs> Two games with massive needs for train because the focus and she's got to do it. So she has sorry to do for it the quick. announcements if that's coming through. I don't know. It's Reaper Live. It's, <laughs> it's Reaper coming Live. Through. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. So Kuvis, if you, you can definitely uh -huh. learn that here, they have a lot of classes on two brush blending actually. I think yeah. two or three. Two or three classes? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. two or three brushes, like one in the mouth, <laughs> one in each hand. There's, I've seen people, there was a guy I had a Facebook for years, that was his picture. That was He loved that technique. He had a lot of brushes. Yeah, Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to stick one in my mouth and I'm going to try and see if yeah. I can speed do it. Yeah. Um, and so then the other one I took last night 
is I painted four of these uh, they goblins. Look like the Pathfinder goblins. In yeah. an hour. See? Yeah. yeah. And that's a handy trick, isn't it? It is. I, and so we used the contour paints for uh -huh. one, we used inks for another. We uh -huh. use that um, minwax kind of technique. Oh, when yeah, you jump where you it. flip and dip. Yeah. Uh, dip and flick, yeah. And then. Now, your contours, is that the GW ones? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The contra contrast or contours? Contrast. Contrast. Contrast, contrast okay. paints, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, and then ink. Wait, ink. Oh, one more thing. Nope. Can't remember what the other Oil, one was. Right? You Oil, that. yes. Oh. Oils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't tried the oils. I mean, the dip and flick is more of a. I mean, this all of these the have been around in their own iteration. But, you know, this would have been the Army painter for painting armies fast, and then the contrast would be GW's new one. And then the inks has been sort of a traditional. But, yeah, I just get them done and get it mm -hmm. done fast. And yeah. they look great. And they yes. took 15 minutes. They I look love incredible. It. Too bad they're so small there because they really, really look good up close. They really do. What's the big thing? Huh? Oh, so then. Oh, okay, on the screen? Okay, because our screen we're just seeing. Okay. Um, and then um, I took the, this morning I took the Bones mashup. Um, which is with your um, Gene. Yeah, but with your sculptors. Yes, which Gene was Van, neat. Lee, yes, Gene was yes. the big tall, tall yeah. guy teaching yeah. with Gene. Gene yeah. Vanport, yeah. And so um, you come up and there's this pile of bones up there and you can just make, make, make. So I made three things, but this is my, I don't know, this thing's so horrific. I actually <laughs> cringed while I was making it. It's got like a mystique, the mystique body and then the wings off of one of the, the dragons. Yeah, that slug, that's, that slug That's the isn't... slug coming out of the ground, and then it's, uh, the base is from Kanjira, and then the arms are from the, uh, there was a pool, yeah. But isn't it sort of like going back to walking into kindergarten It or is, something? it was wonderful. It was just, here's all this stuff, we've got all these toys, now let's go do something with it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I made this too. So terrain's a big deal, hard to find, so I mm. made a terrain piece. Yeah. So... Frank operates a little different when he's creating adventures. I don't know about yourself, but he, he does them off of terrain. Mm -hmm. So I'll make something and then he'll be like, he's, that he, says the focus, me, yeah. he says to me, I want, I want you to just create something and that inspires me. So yeah. how do I inspire you today with that well, one? Well, I often, <laughs> often like turn it around and handle it and look at it, but that is the way I create. So some people write like mixed, or you're gonna put me on the spot? Is that I am. <laughs> This is my challenge. I don't know if you have any idea. No. To say. Well, I mean, <laughs> you have three. I, I think it's awesome. I think it's like um, multiple portals coming into the same area. That's what I'm going to say. That, or you could do one's taking you to the future, one's taking you to the past, and one's taking you to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I like that. I yeah. thought it was like a puzzle. I can utilize that. Because no. there's the underneath one of them has all kinds of bones and like. Well, yeah. there's always a puzzle to figure out where that portal is going to go. That's yeah. how you guys ended up wherever you're going to go in Dungeons and Dramaturgy. I know. Mm -hmm. We ended the game with them, not to, to too much game, but we ended the game with them uh, opening a portal as a last result to, to try to escape a shadow. necromancer's mm -hmm. den. And this horrible shadow demon came out and then tossed some of the bodies in and they had to follow in. So they don't even know where they're going to end Where they're going to go. Yeah. Sort of the cliffhanger, the season That's cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. Yeah. That is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is fun. That's fun. And then this is another mashup. I don't know if you can squeeze that one in there. That sure. One's a, this that one's a, a really simple one. Yeah. Honestly, I just love that. Is it a troll? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, whatever you need oh, it to like be. Oh, it's like an ogre with a yeah. arm. Ogre? You mash the arm up with something. Yeah, it's like a it's a lizard type arm. Yeah. With a big club. I like it. Right. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, I, I was jealous when I saw that uh, that piece from Michael Proctor's class. I didn't. Oh, I know. This, that's going to be one? in the, the Bones Five. That's yeah. yeah. That's a neat piece. Yeah. It is. It's an incredible. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I was really excited. So, what classes <laughs> do you still have left to take? So, um, intro to painting lots of figures tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, advanced skin tones with Beckley. How to train your airbrush, because I just can't seem to. <laughs> it's not hard. It's really not hard. It spits. Mine spits. Oh. I'm cleaning it and cleaning it and taking it apart and taking it apart. I can't. I, I just. So I'm going to go to that class. <laughs> and animal colors and patterns. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good, good. 
And I, I, I have, I still have, I take them. It does me good, but mm -hmm. I still have advanced skin tones as well. And then uh, multicultural skin tones with Mocha. Oh, yeah. So. Look who we commissioned. Really? Do you yeah. do some? She's, She's good. Some stuff She's for our a lot stream. of fun. Justin, I don't know if you can show those photos. Yep. Um, but we commissioned her for two pieces. Uh, well, well, the Reaper one, the mushroom. We did the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that's uh, for Maximum Maidens. That's one of the goddesses, Vasilisa, who's okay. a goddess of madness and illusion. And then she has two forms, so that's one of them. The other form is a masked nymph. Um, hmm which is right there. She does an incredible. Mm. That's which a she's tiny Mocha menu. Minis, Mocha underscore Minis. <laughs> yeah, on Twitch. On and Twitch. speaking of that, what is y'all's address on Twitch? Oh, yeah. Nightheart Gaming. It's twitch.tv slash Nightheart Gaming. Nightheart Gaming uh, on uh, basically anywhere, except anywhere. for Twitter. It's Nightheart Game because they have that length restriction. Oh, oh okay. On Twitter? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can always find us. Yeah. Thank there you, Moobot. There you. we go. Moobot is, Moobot is uh, <laughs> super useful when, he, when he's doing his job. Correctly. <laughs> Correctly. <laughs> yeah, the first one didn't last so long. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he likes to draw prizes for himself. Yeah. All kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that one. <laughs> um, so speaking of games, though, and different games, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm interested because there was a lot of hype around your Battle for Dreadmere back there, and that was a pretty oh, cool yeah. looking... Do you have any pictures of Battle for Dreadmere? Don't, don't have? Okay. I, I, you need to bring it over here. Yeah. What's going on with that? That is, uh, this is the final year for uh, the Dreadmere. There were four shows that sort of revolved around that theme. Right. Merkelor is the invading wraith. And uh, so Battle for Dreadmere is, is simply the plagues that precede his, his uh, uh, armies, I guess, are hitting the edge of town. And then the factions have sent heroes to dispatch them. Okay, so as they make their preparations farther back. And uh, so the players, there'll be six, there are six players, and they're faced with over 600 models. And they have to kill all 600 models, oh or they have to God. kill them all within an hour and a half. And wow. so there's a time limit, and anything that they don't destroy when the timer goes off, still on the table, or anything that is just run through them, because like a plague, it's just trying to move through, okay? Right. Uh, Merkelor gets those as faction points. And uh, so oh. it's uh, it's so, really a, just a very intense, it's like a knife fight in a phone booth kind of an idea. The players are dealt, they have to deal with the time, they have to deal with the tactics, there's some trying to run away. You know, and you also have six players too that don't know, they just met. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn support to each other where there's a hole between you and I, who's gonna cover it, you or me, and just a lot of stuff. So it's been really fun. It runs every two hours, gives them 30 minutes to reset it, and it's been very, very popular. It is. So. Everybody's been excited. Yeah. You, I've seen you um, <coughs> GMing it. GM? Huh? Game oh, Master? DM it? Yes, yeah. DM? I was one Dungeon of them. Master? That was one that Kevin and I and James and then uh, Michael is actually back there, who you Mike all know. Collins he's running, he's running, Collins. Oh, he's yeah, back there running back it right there. now. Yeah. And uh, it takes three on our side, so that way it keeps, because oh. we don't want to take too much time because they're right. under the timer. Yeah. Right. So we're the ones that sort of police along. If we get a player that wants to think about things too much, we'll start throwing suggestions and mm -hmm. try and keep that pace going. And uh, It looks very dynamic. Thing. It is. It's a lot of fun. Yesterday there was a battle that took them down to, they had a minute and 30 left at the timer when they got rid of the last song. <gasps> wow. Uh. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but that's it for this year. Next year there'll be a new theme for the show. I believe it's Pirates. It's an, uh, our pirate theme for the whole thing. Oh. I don't know how many shows, if there'll be an arc or anything, but we'll do the same concept, but we'll have a, another that battle. That must mean you're that. releasing a pirate ship. <laughs> I guess. That's what no, they talk that's about what they on this street. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it's a pirate ship. I don't know how that's, 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 that's above my pay grade to know. <laughs> and uh, uh, it says, I miss the rule set the, the Battle of Dreadmere uses. It actually is using a set of rules we just call the Battle for Dreadmere. It's an in house set of rules that, we've, uh, that uh, Kevin and I wrote and put together for this kind of an event. So we'll have rules that'll up. We can put them up as a throw in into orders after the show because everybody here is getting copies. So okay. you should be able to find one. You have a game too, though. Reaper has a game. We've had several. We started off with Cav. I wrote that years ago, and uh, Cav was designed to uh, to do what it did. Huh? Cav 
is your game? Yeah, that was, yeah. I didn't realize and, that. Uh, uh, so anyway, it was sci-fi, it did its thing and it went down and it's not something that we were going to continue to go down that path, that style of game. Uh, really just the, the, the way it worked. So Talon Games purchased that from us. And so actually they're here running CAF. And yeah, everything. yeah. And then we did the Warlord game release. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was, it's a nice game. It's a great game. It's been very, very popular. Except it's just, uh, everything's out there that needs to be out there. And it's really designed for a much larger scape than what nowadays everybody's, everybody's now much more skirmish level. You know, in Warlord you could end up with, you know, a very large army and people just aren't painting and building large armies, you know, to the cost and the time. Right. So, so, so was, like, was it like a like a D and D game with an army too, or was it more? No, no, like it was a... more driven towards tabletop. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. No, now we have our whole world, um, and that's where we pull our, which is uh, uh, where we pull all of our stuff out of. It goes right. way back. There was originally an RPG-ish world that we all sort of played in and had stuff in. And that became the basis for the Dark Heaven figure line. So all these Dreadmere is part of that world. The Warlord, okay. where Warlord took place, that is was part of that world and kind of a thing. So. And so that's where all the names for the you still come up with names, and they're for still the, all named after yes, that, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, all the names, the figures, the locations, the locales, things like that. That's neat. So, I didn't know that's you know I know you had all those lines, but I didn't know what they meant. That's what they yeah for us to pull from yeah yeah kind of a thing. So there's even a world for Chronoscope. We just yeah. never we don't do much with it, but there is a full world for Chronoscope where all that stuff is being pulled from when it flying when it monkeys. When goes, flying monkeys everything. <laughs> yeah. It's more of a steampunk twist. It's the yeah. clockwork yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, which is yeah. awesome stuff. I like so. your uh, Sigmund Foride. Yes, that was a fun model. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm One a of my favorites the Wizards of the Wizard of Oz crew. Those those were a lot yes. of fun. Yeah. I yeah. use yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. <laughs> but that's sort of what we did with the, the the games and that's where that is, is is uh we're playing with it and see see where it goes. So mm -hmm. we put um, I think I think we have something out of every line, although we end up probably not using the modernized looking stuff. Right, mm -hmm. that would have the chronoscope and everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We still yeah. have lots of stuff there. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't filmed a battle for Steam, uh, uh, for Dreadmere game yet. We might try and do that. That would be We will uh, awesome. sit down if we can do that, yeah. yeah. That was a great, it was your idea, that's a great idea, so now I've just got to disrupt their day and get them back there to do it. Yeah, no, I was saying, I was saying you need to film that, and then your um, then your big uh, role playing game that on that massive table. Yeah, yeah. So we could, yeah. Yeah, pull in some of your artists and the bit that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is an artist group. They play. I mean, it's usually when we come, we bring the artists in periodically, and it's just the artists. And then Bobby mm -hmm. runs a game that everybody plays oh. in. Ron plays in it. I play in it. You know. You we keep film you know, that. Yeah, I know. We should. It just <laughs> it just never happens. You know, everybody's yeah. running and they don't think yeah. about it, you know. So Yeah. So as gamers I gotta I've gotta ask, do you still play occasionally? Like yes. D like D and D or oh, Pathfinder yeah, yeah, yeah. or Well your... no, not so much. RPG is in, in Bobby's group. Okay. I do that. We've been spending a lot of time for that Battle of Dread for tabletop, so uh, I do that. We were talking about the computer games before. Still dabble a little bit in that, but it's like we were talking about. It's a function of time. Yeah. yeah. Every, there's so much to do. Where do you pick and choose your time to go? Exactly. So, yeah. It's that's I um, I have to have downtime, and so I call my downtime. I, for a while, it was the painting and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But then when it became part of the stream, and there's a timeline. It didn't become, now it becomes more work. It, yeah, it does. So yeah. I do play some uh, console gaming. Yeah. To just I've done zone that. out. I've gotten into some phone games. I do Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. I do so. Pokemon Go and so, Harry Potter. Well, we'll Harry have to Potter. try that. Yeah. I haven't tried the Harry Potter yet. Uh, my girlfriend does Harry Potter. So. Basically, yeah, the same. I mean, the same company. It's all the same points. You can yeah. you can be like, oh, there's stops here, and it's open your, the other yeah. game, and you yeah. know there's something yeah. there. I, so. I'm going to play that this weekend, Let's finally get into the Harry Potter. Oh, getting to that? Yeah, because we're, we're on vacation after yeah, this. This kicks oh. off our vacation. So wow, we're that would be nice. Where are you all going to go? Uh, big, don't know. It? We're going to drive We're in. heading towards Arkansas. Oh, okay. But we don't know if we'll make it there or what we're going to do. We're sort of leaving it up to chance. Well, you're going to get to a lot nicer terrain. I mean, you're going to get the woods. <laughs> the terrain. East Texas. Exactly. Yeah, the lot exactly. of better view. Right. We yeah, can figure better out where than going west where it gets really flat. Out. Yeah. You want to find the orcs? <laughs> do you do that? Like when you go hiking, look like you're hiking and you're like, oh, 
this is probably where this would be hanging out. And yeah. This would oh, be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We were, we were up in Tennessee this year and we were doing the whole trails there. And, mm -hmm. and you see a lot of that. She's like, oh, yeah, that would make, or neat terrain. That was, mm -hmm. That's for me, it's a lot of, well, I've got to remember that and uh, uh, things like that. So, there's yeah. the orc. <laughs> <laughs> Trees, we love trees. So, we—that's Rainover Pebbles just put up our um, <laughs> our, our one of our. Everybody's got cool emotes. We have cool emotes. This is our moat. They're all bit uh, trees. So, and, yeah. Yeah, trees we like the game. Trees make terrain. Yes. True. yes. When you're playing that's on Frank's the... philosophy, and I finally yes. see it. Uh, yeah, you can put out. You can you can put out the cardboard tiles, mm -hmm. and and. Pathfinder uh, pog, uh, pond, ponds. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, you throw some trees in there, right? It's like woodland scenic style uh -huh. trees, and suddenly it changes the dynamic. That is my right. sort of philosophy on. Well, you see anything you vertical. It. Yeah. It's just, just trying mm -hmm. to get, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you do learn, Walker. In fact, I was at. Uh, to realize how to do flocking on the, on a terrain mm -hmm. board or whatever, mm -hmm. is I happened to be in a, on a tower. I don't think it's the Hemisphere Tower down in San Antonio, mm -hmm. looking down over their green, and I realized how really awful, yellow, splotchy that whole thing. But when you're down there at the same level walking, it's a nice pristine green. And so that's why I started referring to a lot of terrain boards. Well, oh, this is a golf course, you know, because it's just you know, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but you learn that as you're in your yeah. environment, everywhere you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is that is awesome. And we use we use terrain. I think. Uh, I might ask Justin. I know he's he's getting hammered over there for the uh, to find a ship. Maximum Maidens were we're looking for a ship, and um, oh, there's a part you can see the tons of different types of terrain we put in. There he goes. Maybe he's ready. <laughs> there we go. Just don't drown me, okay? Like that's and our. This is y'all playing, yeah? All right, yeah. They, can they hear us? No, we we see the feed, but they can't. Okay. They hear they hear the audio. Okay. We don't. Yeah. You know the Sirenas. That's, that's our one reaper miniatures. There's two on the board. Yeah, there's two. Yeah. Oh yeah, gold. Got the mage right? back there and all of the. Yeah. Yeah, we're working on uh, getting them all painting. Reapers. The, the companies in that. In there's like seven companies in that. Just what you're right. Yeah. We're just like we need this. It scene. is you, African. But that's what you two were you were saying. Uh, Earlier, and this is very true. You know, we we will see people like, "Oh, I like your stuff better than WizKids or something," or "I like WizKids better than your stuff." And in reality, when I'll talk to stores, I said, "You know, the customer, you and I, and you, well, we walk in and I go, I'm looking for this, and that's cool." And we don't really look at the brand. We just go, "This is what I need," and I go. And that's actually I have that discussion with the stores a lot. But that is exactly how it it, it really is for a lot of people. So. Yeah, we were. Yeah, it, that's the enjoyable part. Yeah. You're just making your own scenery, you're playing your mm -hmm. own game in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of brings it back. That that's the uh, that's the whole point. On like Anne is very good at writing a story, and then she will create terrain for the mm -hmm. story. Yeah, I'm much better at grabbing a piece of terrain and going, what's the story with this piece of terrain? Train. But in either case, it's back to us. It's like being in kindergarten again. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. creating and all that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, but when you do the conversion pieces, you can actually then create, it's also could become like a terrain piece and you can create a whole, mm -hmm. a whole story around it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, Anne, I, I know you have some other very specific things. To ask you. Oh, do, you do I? I don't know, do you? I thought, so I'm taking a, I'm taking a tour <laughs> tomorrow. I'm okay. going to try to get on the tour tomorrow. Oh, okay. I've been on the tour. Yeah. And Anne's been on the tour. Uh, do you want to talk, talk first, Anne? About I've been tour. on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I like it, and I like it was interesting to me because I didn't understand, like to understand why you have mold lines, for example. Like mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't, um, and then to see um, just kind of the setting and the um, like your offices and things like that. And I got I got a tour with your brother. Right. Your okay. brother was the tour leader. Tour leader. Uh -huh. Yeah. He loves he doing was, the tours. Yeah. Yeah, it was just part of the family. So I remember I, I skipped, the, I have to admit, so this is my fourth year uh -huh. at ReaperCon, and I have not done the tour, uh -huh. and um, but I'm fixing that because uh, often, well, first I want to see, but but also, like, um, Anne did the tour, and then afterwards when you released the Kickstarter or when you referred to certain things happening, she had, like, a touch point 
for what's go going to, on. Right. I'm like, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what they're saying when they say there's a bunch of boxes here, there's a bunch of boxes here, uh, what it looks okay. like. Or, it is, mm-hmm. bro, it's very true, yeah. For us, it's, it's, it's home, so we know wherever, yeah. yeah. Right. And make casual references, yeah. yeah. I like seeing the, uh, you had a group of men who were um, probably in their 70s, maybe even 80s, playing. And they said, yeah. and and they were in, they were playing um, like on, you know how there's that area that the you mezzanine. go in. Yes, the That's mezzanine. That's where the kid shop is. Yeah. yeah. That is the Heritage re- reunion. Um, Heritage Miniatures was a company that they were a lot like a falling star. They really burned very bright and then burned out. And um, they were based in. It starts off. I won't get too heavy into this, but in Dayton, Ohio, with Duke Seifrey, and it's called uh, Der Creek Spiel is one of his companies, and I forgot, Fantasy Fantastiques, I think is what it was called. Okay. And then down in Dallas at the same time, and I don't remember his name, was a company called Heritage Miniatures or something. So Duke and the guy in Dallas merged and formed Heritage USA. Um, they were the first people that uh, did pre-painted miniatures. They were in metal. They did the first water base line of paint. They did the first hexagonal terrain pieces. I mean, they, and they did in, all but invented the micro game Line. They had all these micro games, Dwarf Star series, that's what they called. They did battle line games, um, which are box games. I mean, this was at a time in the industry, it was, this is going to be in the 70s, okay? At the very early creation of all this, because you've got Gygax literally still in their house up there right. in playing and Heritage down here. And, um, but they were just so, so creative, so fast, and just overreached it. And they were actually end up, there was a new guy that came in and Duke left. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, they ended up going bankrupt, I want to say in 82, in that area. Now, I'm in college, or I'm a freshman in college, just getting out of high school, or trying, you know, up here in Denton. So we're going down to the Royal Guardsmen, which is their store there. And so that's how I got to know all those guys up there, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, kind of a thing. And up there is going to be like Max Carr, who was a sculptor, and David Helber, who was uh, uh, their art director and creating drawing and stuff, uh, Willard. Uh, ran production, uh, the president should be, I've seen on the list, pretty much they get together and they do it here at the same time as ReaperCon. And then they use the factory and they mm-hmm. just get up there and have their big weekend of doing everything they're doing and then we're up here doing this and stuff. So that's where they all are and if you ever need history about what's going on, because they know where all the skeletons are buried. <laughs> they know it, you know, kind of a thing. So. It's just, it's neat to see that there's Longevity. There's, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Continuity. There's, yeah. Yes. Yes. And they all, we're all interested. They still love playing the games and building the building the terrain. They'll do, they mm-hmm. and just the whole thing. Yeah. So, but that's what they're doing you know, <laughs> on that side. So, I'm excited for the tour. I'm always excited. <laughs> there's I, a I, lot of neat stuff. There's a lot of character there in the whole the whole factory. You're actually going so. with uh, Jacob Jensen. I'm going to oh. try. <laughs> <laughs> Who actually, it's interesting because it's a small world. So um, you sponsored us. Um, when was that? In May? May. Right. It was uh, mid May. Thank you. Mid May. Yeah. yeah, thank you oh, very yeah, no, much. That was fun, yeah. We actually cried. Oh, t- <laughs> God, I never. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was the most excited I've been in. Um, a very long time. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. I know Michael was all aboard because Michael handles that, and that was he was with y'all's contact, and yeah, I know he was really yeah. excited. So. Oh yeah, it just it just kind of validates what you're you know you're out there, mm-hmm. you're out there streaming, and it's just all on the table. <laughs> yeah. And it's like oh. <laughs> well, we, well, nowadays it's a lot like what I was just describing. Heritage was going through in the '70s. This whole social media thing is so new. Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, well, it's like the old west in a way. I mean, mm-hmm. you're out there and you're just going and saying, and let's go do it and see what finds. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, mm-hmm. we all know. Mm-hmm. It is. It is very hard to. Um, there's so many different types of streamers, mm-hmm. and the whole reason. Well, not. So I've always wanted to record moments. I, I'll, I'll go back to way back, and I. You, you get done with a game and people have had and you just you're talking about it you're reliving it and you wish you captured it right like sometimes there's something so funny or you think is so epic and you're like oh I want to capture that I've always wanted to record but there's been no no reason to right. record other than that so when streaming came about I was like I want to do this because we can share all those moments at the same time same time yeah mm-hmm. so I really wanted to do that and then I put it off for a while uh, and Anne was finally like Frank you 
just stream. If you want to stream, just stream. Right. That, that was like, <laughs> that's really all there is. Yeah. Just We've jump been in talking there about this for years. So that's sort of what happened. This literally, Reaper Live, even for us, even just started by me going up to Ron's office. We were sitting there talking. So, okay, this is what we got to do. This is, you know, this is social, this is where the world is going. Let's just jump in. <laughs> and it's like Ron said, we're not professionals, we're not this. I said, we're not, it doesn't matter. Oh, you yeah, know? it doesn't. Just, just get out there and do it. And well, that's really what we did. You are so that? much fun to watch. <laughs> and, uh, we enjoy it. Actually, yeah. we did, we started off doing YouTube first because we couldn't do Twitch Live because it was, it took us 30 minutes just to get the intro done. It was just <laughs> driving just up the wall. And, uh, uh, just on and on. It was, but it was a lot of fun, and we mm -hmm. had a lot of fun. And then all of a sudden, now we're up to forty-six shows, and it's almost a year. Yeah. So I was like, wow. But I'm learning to learn like you are. It never dawned on me, like you said, that we should film that bat one of those battle events. And so yeah. Justin will be doing that here soon. I would film those. <laughs> I'd also bring. Just <laughs> <laughs> Justin's over there, He's like, like yeah. Um, yeah. The hobby hijinks. That would be a good one. Because yes. it's madness and it's yes. fun, and people are laughing, and it's just. Yeah. And that's what I think is about Twitch, is that it doesn't matter if you're a mm -hmm. professional, people are trying to connect with you authentically. Yes. And, and that's it's around what, the world. There's, yeah. a, there's a, an attendee here, uh, Romero, he was telling me, he was in uh, stationed overseas in a group of special forces, way out in the middle of nowhere, but they get their satellite TV, and each person gets their hour, and mm -hmm. when his hour came up, says, we're gonna watch Reaper Live. So here you've got these, these soldiers somewhere in the world watching the hour, they're watching your show. We have no clue. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's telling us these stories, how he was showing them. Like, no, this is live, it's happening there. Here, watch. And so they get their count, and he asks a question, and we answer it. They're all like, oh my God. And, <laughs> and a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. now we're, our, 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 um, our terrain streams, mm -hmm. we engage a little bit less with the people during those to be, to be honest right we we have a lot of friends in chat that are in chat here that help with that because they're they're part of it mm -hmm. but as dm we're trying to kind of like make the game but but well yeah so it's a little bit different because we're trying to focus on that yeah we've slowly like i told all the maximum maidens don't chat don't even look at it <laughs> because oh, yeah. you're Originally. trying to play and you're trying to do this and then slowly i'm like okay we have an audience we have people and they want to connect with us while we're right. playing. So like Dragon Pink hard. and Dock of Flock of Flame yeah. and they're chatting with us and like and they have suggestions too, which I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's me, I've with the some ones I've watched, not your show, a lot of just Twitch. I was like, don't uh -huh. open that door, don't, just don't open that door, but they're gonna go <laughs> open that door. Right, right. You know. And, uh, but yeah, you right. can type that in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is probably what's gonna make them to open that oh, door. probably, yes, yes. Yeah. But that is hard too, because you're having to focus to do this mm -hmm. and in turn engage. Mm -hmm. Whereas for us, it's we just sit down and start talking to that screen. You know. It's becoming easier <coughs> because there's also, it's, there's seven people around the table mm -hmm. or six people around the table. They're not always yeah. playing, right? All seven are not always playing or half Right. Playing. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of going off on their own media, they, they respond and stuff. And that's, that's cool because they get it actual is. responses. Yes. It's fun. But uh, we, <laughs> we, when we watch, your your chat is uh -huh. usually just you can't even read it. It's like, scroll so far. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, oh. yes. Awesome. Well, that's what awesome. we do. That, that's they'll pick it out and they'll remind us of questions we missed and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we've um, been very lucky too. We haven't had many trolls jump in or you know disruptors type disruptors, of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've had some uh, trolling lately. Very few though. But, that's good. but that's it's good. been not negative. It's been like let me sell my product. Right. Yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Well, yeah. yeah. It's not like when you're playing an Xbox game, yeah. So. Oh no, oh gosh. The community actually is very nice on Twitch. Yeah. For the most part, I really yeah. enjoy it. It's a nice and place. that's part of this, everybody's here because they want to be. So you have a whole different mm -hmm. set of, just it's just a lot of fun going on, yeah. And we try to, we've tried to co-stream with like Mocha, we had a, we, we, we had tried a co -stream, to co-stream, yeah. To reach out to different people, because it is a community and it's, it's, you get to see how they interact outside of this. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to have a co-stream coming up with um, Jay. Jay who from is in, uh, Lord Gozumba. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is another one of your people, groups you sponsor. Right, okay. Yeah. Which has the, they do the Greyhawk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which has been around forever. Yeah, yeah. one of the originals. Right? Mm -hmm. And they're, they're playing old 1E, 2E edition Greyhawk. Which oh, is, wow. So every, which is also really cool that these, the older games are still 
being played, right? The older mm -hmm. editions. Mm -hmm. Well, if anything, you can pull that storyline forward. Even if you don't oh, use yeah. those mechanics, you can still pull that storyline forward, which is a lot of fun. That gives, it makes the whole world really easy to pick from. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And a lot and a lot more to um, okay. a lot more content to reach into too. Yeah. I want to show what you painted for us. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a picture of it? Well, yeah, did you we bring do. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this <coughs> is with Maxima Maidens. Oh. That was a. Oh, the little dwarf, yes, yeah. the dwarf guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to know what he became? What happened to him? I watched <laughs> the episode and he woke up in the cave, or they were waking up in the cave. I saw that, and yes. there was the island outside, and everybody was sort of splitting. Yeah. So he started off with them in the, in a, incarcerated, basically. Uh -huh. And they were uh, involuntary workers. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yes. Slaves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Huh. And um, and so he was actually the Maximum Maidens touch point for introducing uh, the Grey Dwarfs, the Duragars. Oh, okay. To the um, whole. But he was um, he was psychotic, mm -hmm. and um, so they were also working with that. I'm a psychologist, so mm -hmm. I do put in. Mm -hmm. aspects of that in my game mm -hmm. and try to make it more like a, it's a normal part of society to have right. that they have everything. to do it, yeah. okay yeah and um so they were working with him and doing a lot of things to comfort him and get him along and then he helped them to escape cool. well, actually they 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 broke they him still out with he's still with them i don't know how this happened but he ended up joining them yeah because he's, he's supposed he's, to be an npc that's what he's they, not that's with what them. Michael said, yeah. He's not yeah. with them. With them. Not, not anymore. Okay. They broke out. Yeah. yeah. He he's he's taking a rest. Yeah. He's with their cousin. He traveled with them for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. Michael would come in and he oh, he says we need a dwarf. It's got to be a crazy. He gave me that. And I said okay, so I did. And he goes, well, no, it's like like I said, psychotic like or something. That's where the blood came from on the oh, axe and yeah. things like that. I said, well, I don't know what else to do. I mean, how do you you know? He is what he is. So. Yeah, that's cool though. Love him. We're, yeah. we're, we're using him in both streams. I haven't introduced him yet. He's just about to surprise him, but I can't can't say anything because oh yeah, you don't want to look secret about that. Yeah. We don't want to know what happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he'll be there. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Super thank you so that. much. That awesome. And oh, that nice was touch. my struggle is painting quickly. Yeah, no. That's, yeah, that's what I've played armies forever. So every technique out there you can use, I've tried them or invented or whatever. Uh huh. Kind of a thing. That's where those house brushes that came from was from that uh, episode where I painted the big uh, Rothros demon with the house brushes. <laughs> yeah. house really? Brush. Yeah. I gotta see this. That was the second toolbox. Kind of <laughs> did. So the toolbox, I, I watch them sometimes. It's right in the middle of the work day. And I right. Yeah. It's the one. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I at least that's the good thing about the VODs because you can go back and watch. Watch them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless mm -hmm. you have the time to. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> Should we show uh, an episode with the two of us interacting? Mm -hmm. Do we have a Dungeons one? and Dramaturgy? Yes. Not an episode, but the a clip. Which clip. one? Which one? Um, there's only one. No, there. Oh, the the you can dance. Yeah. You can dance. This oh boy. Is very yeah, um, it's comedic. Oh good. Kind of. This is what happens when you play. There we go. We're in it. I'll have this them is come a audition for you. Tidbit. This is my I'm character. Sure She's a gnome who became was reincarnated as a half orc. They'll dance. They'll sing. And they'll basically, do to he's playing Rose, that they and I'm are playing just the little. This is me. And we're talk. We're using. You can dance if you want okay. to. You can leave your friends behind. They will dance. Right from the <laughs> yeah. Safety dance. And it was. Some don't dance. <laughs> yeah. That's the madness. Yeah. I, yes. I can't leave my friends behind. <laughs> Inspiration for you, Dia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But if your friends don't dance, can't resist. If they don't dance, <laughs> no friends of yours. Uh, you can leave them behind. That's all of our gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was doing so well. Terrible. It's cinematic. I'm and so sorry. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, definitely. Well, it's what well, allows them to see what's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Theater of the mind. Yeah. So we we try to. We're back. <laughs> yeah, we, we try to uh, miniature focus and we put the people, players in still, but I think that's, that's what we're trying to um, represent as much as we can. Uh, in the games, when you're distant, you don't get to see terrain, it's hard to sort of share that hobby part of it, mm -hmm. so we just want to get close up. That's like the niche we want to try for, for us, for the streaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's part of 
for our enjoyment. Well, you're doing very good at it. Very, doing very, very oh, well. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're, we're a small, wee, young streamer. <laughs> Everybody started something, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our year anniversary is uh, September 27th. 7th. It's our, yeah, it's our year anniversary of, of truly streaming. So we'll, we'll have, um, we did some test streams originally uh, where we were just kind of throwing stuff out there. And then September 27th, we started in earnest wow. with our, our streaming. And that was uh, 2018. And so you're coming so, to your first year as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're coming up on the first one. Wow. So, and we have a, a special a special event, perhaps, probably, a special stream for Maximum Maiden Maximum Stream. Maiden. If, the, if the timing works with their story, like, I'm not mm -hmm. going to push the story to, to make it happen. But right. They, yeah. they started actually streaming. <laughs> it's kind of odd the way it happened. We were talking about um, Nightheart Gaming streaming, and I knew immediately I wanted a channel that different games could could play on. There were still, you know, Anne's DMing one, our friend Tom DMs the, the uh, online ones, and then I'm DMing uh, Dungeons and Dramaturgy. But we, we, uh, Anne actually started streaming first. And I was like, what? let's start streaming for quite a while because I had to wrap up an epic storyline for all the other players so I wouldn't ruin the, the surprise of that for mm -hmm. the stream. And so she started streaming. I don't think Dungeons and Dramaturgy has been streaming. This is so it's Maximum Maidens. It's going to get the credit for the anniversary for our streaming. That's why they're going to get the good episode. I, we're going to try to make it happen on, okay. the, on yeah. the anniversary. Oh, we're, we're trying. We're that. doing. Um, we have surprises which we can't tell because our players are on there. But the artists are working very hard. Oh, Frank's good. working very hard. I'm painting a whole whole bunch of stuff. It's taking the classes to show you how to paint stuff fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does the stream, do they have questions? Do you guys have questions out there? Nine minutes. I mean, if you got a question, get it in. <laughs> they were talking, they're talking about this epic. So we pulled together, Frank pulled together, he had five games running with five players in each. Oh, wow. We rented a hotel. We had a little mini convention, convention. a Nightheart Gaming convention, uh -huh. actually. Before his stream started. Where wow. I had to find DMs that were not actually playing in my games, but I still trust the DM. And I wrote the last storyline for each of the five bits that then handed off to those DMs, actually, for the players to finish in a, in a coordinated adventure that allowed all the tables to influence the other tables for the, Man, for the combat. That's so. a lot of work, but that sounds like that'd be awesome. It was. Old school iron DMing too. I mean, did you take that on? It was a lot of fun, and and definitely our, our DMs did a great job. So Africa, what's what's your favorite class? I bet she means the Reaper painting classes. What's your favorite class? Oh, what's my favorite class? Dude, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> this class. This this is not a class. Um, I think it was probably the Bones mashup because it was um, free, like it's free. It was it cost money, <laughs> but I mean, it was like um, free to actually just get in there and Play with them. you have these piles of f bones and figures and just go for it. And there was no rules, there was no this, and you weren't learning anything, so it didn't take too much of this brain power, which, you know, they say take, ideally, like, I would take one class a day. Mm -hmm. um, except Bones Mashup, you could add into any day. But I would take one class a day, like, for this guy, I would have loved to have just taken that class and then work all day on I'll perfecting it so that I could go to my <coughs> doctor and say, hey, what else do I need to do? How do I perfect it? And that's the beauty of coming to this is they're so open. So, yeah, if you're getting one on one communication with the artists that are teaching the classes yes. afterwards. So yeah. you can't beat that. And there are classes, there are students or, or, or painters that travel the country. And those classes are good to get into, uh, what give you exactly what you just described. You're gonna spend a day early, Bear, Jeremy was over. Anyway, we've had several that we've hosted at the shop. And you do, you get in on it. You mm -hmm. get to, they give you the fee. Everybody's doing the same thing. You have this one-on-one, mm -hmm. -on -one. it might last two days. And you could really ramp up you know what you're what you're trying to do mm -hmm. so we have one guy here Doug Cohen which uh, gets a classroom all to himself because that's what he does but his is on this one this year sculpting 
but not sculpting for production like what we would use, sculpting to build your diorama. So oh. you've got your story, here's your diorama, here's what you do. But he does in his work, he does it all. So the figures, every, you know, and uh -huh. so how to get a figurine, a human figurine sculpted and, and to be able to paint it kind of a thing. So. That's, and it's all day. It's all day. Yeah, I wanted to go to your um, NMM class that was all day because that, that baffles my mind. I do not know how to do NMM. And t I've tried taking a two-hour class and it just didn't, didn't it didn't, I it wasn't. It, for me, I was the same way. What I did is I started looking at the canvas. When you see a, like a picture somewhere and it might be of a motorcycle at a, wherever, and they've got all this chrome because yeah. it's an old Harley Davidson or something. Mm -hmm. Well, that's NMM. They're actually doing NMM there on that canvas. So uh, that was what okay. sort of opened my brain up to, ah, oh, now I see what I'm trying to get to. And so when I reapproached it, uh, it, and it's not one I go to very often, but I wanted to learn it. And so mm -hmm. when I reapproached it, then it was a much easier, because I just realized, well, yeah, I'm now using the paint to create and, and stuff like that. There's a Russian painter, Kirill. If you do get on his Facebook, he is absolutely amazing with his NMM. He painted a helmet, bassinet helmet that you, and there was a reflection in it. This is obviously not you, but it gives you the illusion that you're looking at polished metal and it's got this reflection of oh, your shape coming back. Oh, wow. Stuff like that. NMM. Uh, it's non-metallic non metals. metals. Yeah, NMM. Yeah. Yeah. So. And hello, <coughs> Shibi. I know we haven't said hi yet. Sorry, Shibi. Yes, hello, Shibi. And Cajun Mage. I know Mage. some of these. Was, yeah, Cajun Mage. I know a lot of these names. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. We met, well, we didn't officially meet Cajun, but through Mocha's channel is where our yeah. first interaction with Cajun oh. Mage. And, and Jacob Jansen. That might have been through Lord Go Yeah, but it's, it's like Lord it's community. That's it, what we're talking about. It yeah. becomes family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, so I know we're running up against our time. And Lady Scales you. is actually on here, so we should, yeah mention that lady scale so while we're gone uh-huh yes first though so thank you yeah oh, well, thank no, you thank for, you all for coming no thank definitely. you yes yeah. yes I'm I'm glad. It's, I, it's great talking to you i had yeah. questions thanks for answering so i'm going to tell everybody out there i'm going to go on record that he's my favorite I'm, yeah right <laughs> you're, the I'm only one. you're the only you're the only I'm one i'm serious i'm like why doesn't he took it to talk more oh no <laughs> <laughs> It's the highlight of, of there's uh, Colonel Kate. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, <laughs> I talk. No, I can't. He can't shut me up. But no, Ron, we just we he just goes. Yeah. If I need to jump in there. I'll jump in. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So go ahead. Go ahead. Anne. Go ahead. So yes, tonight, uh, Lady Scales. Can you say hi? Just say hi, Cat. Scales. So, scales. Scales, yeah. Yeah. She is DMing for us. Normally, this would be a Maximum Maidens game tonight oh. on Friday nights. And, and she is going to be, there she is. <laughs> she's going to be the dungeon master tonight. Mistress, dungeon mistress. Uh -oh. uh, while we're gone, and the stream is actually, they're going to work it without us there, which uh -oh. is, oh, Those are big heart. Those are always good times, though, yes. Big heart. <laughs> and so she's got a one shot, two shot, two parts, because we're gone for a couple weeks. Because you're going on vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's called the Tainted Rose, and it's pirate themed. I don't know if it's pirate themed, but it ships for Iger. sure. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm good. Yeah. Um, and so that's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight. For the next two Fridays, actually. This one yeah. and next. They have giveaways too, sponsored yeah. by Reaper, Reaper Miniatures. Miniatures. Good. There, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arr. That's right. <laughs> so I don't know if you have a usual outro, Ed. But no, not really. Put it in your, all right. I'm always the guy just says, bye, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> kind of but I want to say you all have a lot of fun on your vacation. That does sound like that's going to be a lot of fun. Enjoy it's, that. That kind of time is what you remember. So, we need yeah. it. It's become, you know, yeah. starting a business. Yes, that's it's, it, it's a hobby business, too. Because so, we have a real business. We too. have we got to real, support the hobby. Real 40-hour yeah. yeah. jobs. Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank for you watching. all for coming by. Thank you. Yeah. Um.